Hi, um, I'm Alona from Nordic Approach. Welcome to the virtual screen copying. Today I am with Joanne. Joanne, hi. Hello, great to be with you. <laughs> Likewise. Today we are talking about Ethiopian flavor wheel, uh, the Kialo profile. Let's go quickly um, and talk about what is Ethiopian flavor wheel. Great. I'd be glad to take you through the flavor wheel. We've been buying Ethiopian coffees at Nordic Approach for many, many years. And about four years ago, we decided we needed a better way to help customers understand the different kind of uh, profiles that we were working with. So we came up with the flavor wheel. It shows on the left-hand side, four different profiles for washed coffees. And on the right-hand side of the wheel, three different profiles for natural coffees. The idea is that we describe and explain a coffee based on how it cups. And so it gives the customer a better idea of what they're buying when they look at the coffees that we have available. So today, like you said, we're talking about Kelu. Kelu is a washed coffee with a profile of tea-like qualities, stone fruit, uh, a little bit of tropical fruit like mango or passion fruit, and sort of soft uh, floral attributes. I'm really excited. Let's uh, cup first. Yeah. Um, so the coffees we have today, we have the um, Kelu Nensebo coffee in front of us and the um, Kelu Buku Seisa. Which was, uh, what do you have to say about the Buku Seisa today, Aliana? How did you find it in the cup? Oh, to be honest, uh, the coffees now are not like really hot, they're a little bit cooled down. And uh, I just found uh, passion fruit in Nenseba and forgot about Buku Seisa for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, that's uh, understandable. Yeah, um, I'm, first of all, I'm really happy with Kilo profile. Uh, this is uh, like one of the favorites for me. Definitely uh, tropical fruits, like they are very distinctive. Like when you cup, uh, this is one of the first flavor um, descriptors that come to your mind. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, um, let's go back to Buku Saisa. Uh, for me, it's more delicate, like more sweet tropical fruit, like mango, um, some of the florals, but for me, it's hard to like um, guess which one is like definitely there and some citrus cities. I would say even like a delicate lime. What's your opinion about Buku Saisa? Buku Saisa has a lot of tropical fruit, like you said, a lot of mango um, and really nice um, citrus characteristics that are, especially at the upfront, there's a lot of citrus. So I think that's really, really great. Very clean and sweet. In Nensebo, for me, this is um, really what stands out is uh, less than the flavor profile or more than the flavor today is what really stands out is the mouthfeel. It's got this really nice uh, coating, sort of silky mouthfeel, which I think is so great, but also some apricots-like fruit characteristics and um, really bright. I agree. Uh... I love the mouse feel. Also, it's very structured. Like um, uh, the body is silky, but at the same time, not watery. And um, um, I like this profile. It used to be more tropical and sweet when it was hot, but now it's uh, more herbal and citrusy. The chamomile is still there. So um, yes, Kelo coffees are really complex. Um, and uh, I'm just curious, when you cup different coffees, uh, what do you pay, pay attention to, to, class, to put them into the specific flavor wheel profile? Do you have your own, let's say, guidelines in a mindset? <laughs> I think one of the important things when we're buying Ethiopian coffees, in general, when we're buying any coffees from any origin, but particularly in a country where we buy so many different coffees, it's really important to make sure we have a good range um, different of different types of profiles so that not everything tastes the same. 
Um, and I think this is what's really helpful about the flavor wheel is that as we cup and make a selection, we're forced to also think about what kind of coffees are we buying, not just that we love the coffee or that it tastes is a good coffee, but also do we have a range of different flavor profiles um, for customers to enjoy. So, and then for each individual coffee, what I'm looking for is that they, the coffee itself has a number of characteristics that meet that flavor profile. Thank you. Yeah, that's clear. Uh, I was curious because stone fruits are present in different parts of flavor wheel. So sometimes it's like easy to confuse if some like florals and uh, stone fruit is uh, matching different types of profile. But um, the tropical fruit you cannot confuse with anything else. Joan, thank you so much for your time. Um, and uh, please don't forget, uh, if you are looking for Kello coffees in our offer list, just look for the name and Kello will be at the beginning of any coffee name with this profile. Thanks, Joan. Thank you so much, Aliana.